Thanksgiving is a little over a month away, but an animal rights organization is trying to get shoppers to ditch the turkey this year. News Channel reporter Mina Wahab shows us how PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, wants folks to go vegan. PETA's Hell on Wheels truck visited Santa Barbara Monday. It was hard to miss, with loud animal cries and real images of turkeys in cages on their way to slaughter. Some of these turkeys, you look into their eyes and you see how sad they are, like this one especially, I caught his eye. Jeff Kimbrough has never considered skipping eating turkey on Thanksgiving, until today. They got like four or five of them in a little cage, and they're just bundled up against it. These guys are just pressed up against the side of the cage. Look at that one. But yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. But he says he'll probably still eat the big bird this year and try for next year as he learns about more vegan turkey alternatives. We have Field Rose, Gardein, Trader Joe's has its own brand. The truck made multiple stops outside of Santa Barbara grocery stores, disrupting some, but inspiring others. Police were called to La Cumbre Plaza after someone at Bristol Farms complained that the truck was disturbing the peace and trespassing on private parking property. I'm Definitely all for peaceful protests, but at the same time, like you, there are laws that need to be followed. The truck then moved to two other supermarket locations with public parking. When consumers come face to face with this reality, how they're shipped from these dark, overcrowded, poorly ventilated warehouses on cramped slaughter trucks like this to the slaughterhouse to have their throat slit just days later, they realize that there's a more compassionate choice they can make. PETA says every year, 46 million turkeys are killed for Thanksgiving. They're touring across 30 states to get more people to go vegan. When it comes to going vegan this Thanksgiving, animal lovers say you don't have to go cold turkey. Even reducing your meat intake just one time a week with something like a meatless Monday could make all the difference. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.